hi everyone i'm chanel from stamping stilettos and i'm here um this evening it's early evening here to show you how to get your charms and embellishments um you know for next to nothing um for your journals or jewelry etc um i went to the car boot on um last weekend and also some of these are from charity shop but i paid more than no more than 50 pence um for any of these items probably 20p some of them i think this one was 50 pence um and i just thought that these would be beautiful on a junk journal so i'm going to take this apart i have some little storage boxes and i'm going to show you um what i do um with these 50 pence this cost and just look how beautiful these are and i just thought well that's theoretically five um journals worth really there so what i do is i just get oh that was easy um the links in between that's what you need to grab hold of And there's another one here. Like that. And we're just going to take that apart. And yes, that has got a, a loop there. But you could actually loop it onto um, your project. Or really, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. But it has that. So that's one. And then what we would just do is take these links out. I love it when you get home from a car boot with all your your stash and that one hasn't even got like the the loop on the end so i'm presuming three of them won't have a loop and that one will so you could actually dangle that one and those ones just glue on um so that's those two there and then we're just going to take off that one Oops, a daisy. And that one, I think we still have one of these charms. Um, you're probably going to get fed up with the sight of me from now on because I've decided that whenever I do anything, I'm going to put the camera on and show you um, what I'm up to. So I hope you don't get fed up with me. Oopsie. Um, but so, you know, quite often I just sit here and craft by myself and I thought hang on a minute I may as well just turn the camera on and do a little bit of crafting and have a natter with you all and um, hopefully find out how you're all doing Oops. and that one now I don't think I'll have much call for a big chunky chain like that so I'm probably not going to keep any of that i don't think um you know we can keep too much stuff sometimes so 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 far we have um those five lovely gorgeous things there now i had already taken off this was a a necklace and i think this was 20 pence i think but i thought that would look amazing on a vintage journal so we have that piece and then there's a smaller um whoops and there's a smaller one there and then we have these flowers which would in fact, it's just as easy sometimes to just use your strength. Oops, she says. Um, and all right, that's got loops on it, but I'm sure you can figure a way round. I mean, they still look good, right? Oh, look, you could actually leave that with dangles. What do you reckon? Or do you think that's too much? 
with those dangles there. Hmm, looks very spidery actually. I'm not going to leave so oops, put those on. I might leave those two on though. I don't know. I might leave one with those on because you never know. All of those chains can go. I'm going to find bits and pieces everywhere, aren't I? <laughs> so we get rid of that one. And <clears throat> what else do we have? Now, this one, um, I might leave the cord that that has on that one. I don't know why, I just think that you might be able to do um, a dangly on the side of a journal and leave the, the cord on that. So I'm gonna leave that one as it is. What else do we have here? Ooh. What is this? This has got all tangled up. I do. I might be here half an hour just trying to untangle this, I think. Oh dear, what has happened? <laughs> Best thing to do is to just chop it apart. Now, that's quite a big... <laughs> look, it's a big shell. Um, but I don't know. That might be quite nice with all these dangly things to put on a, a journal if you glued that bit down I actually quite like that except there's one bit missing there so um, what I might have to do is I could take one of those off and hang it from there actually because look there's one missing from there so if I was going to use this as a whole one I'd need to put another one there or take that one out. I mm, don't know. So let me have a look. Now they're on smaller. Oops. I just broke that. Um, these are just little dangles. Which I may as well take them off. Oh, that was on a big ring that one was. I could have took that off. Let me have a look. See if there's any more on big rings. Oh, there isn't, I don't think. Um, what I could do... Actually, I broke that one again. <clears throat> Sorry about that. That was Mr. Charming. Now, I'm probably not going to use those other ones. And I probably won't use these beads but these little silver ones are quite quite nice so what i'm going to do is just put that in a box somewhere i think but look this is all tangled oh i don't like tangles let's release this is all knotted up oh my goodness me what was this right i really don't know what this is supposed to look like um, but I thought that this was a great big sort of cluster necklace and if that is the case what I'm going to do I'm not going to take this apart now oh, trust me to get it in a tangle Gosh, I don't know if I'm making it worse and getting more in it. Oh, hang on, we might be getting somewhere. Oh, oh, we're nearly there. And I think I got this for a reason because I think this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, just it is, it's beautiful. Look at that as a cluster. I mean, how gorgeous would that be on a, on a journal? 
Oh, it's just delicious. Look at it. Just this gorgeous cluster. Um, that would be amazing by itself on a journal. So I'm going to keep that very, very safe because I just love that look. That is just going to be delicious. On a, can you imagine that on a journal? <laughs> okay, so that's going to be saved. That can go in my um, spare bead sort of thing. So as you can see um, from my... Now I do have um, some other bits that I got from the charity shop as well. And I think these were just all broken bits that the lady... Who knows me very well because I go in there all the time um, threw in for me so let's oops. and that's a lovely ring so we'll take that off um, I have this as well so I'm not quite sure I'm not gonna take that apart at the moment but this is very handy if you just wanted a little dangle um pearl you can just take these off so i'm going to leave that as it is uh, it's a shame actually that that one's missing a real shame i don't know what we'll do with that and that's broken that one so i'll probably just take those off but as you can see um you know it's quite inexpensive to get bits and pieces and i'll show you i've got some other bits and pieces that i got the other day as well um there's this, but it was a bracelet, and look at that, that's just so pretty. And I just thought that would be amazing um, to dangle down on a journal. Look at that. And then I have these lovely roses. This was all one bracelet for 50 pounds, and just look at them. You know, these alone, put on a journal, will be just gorgeous and you know they're if you bought them they'd be a lot more than 50 pence oh i've got a lovely little gold butterfly brooch um another necklace oops that had all of these hearts on um so you know these would look lush as well and then we have these lovely silver hearts that were all from one that was 50 pence so um a great way Go to your charity shop. There's always like a basket or a box on the till or, you know, that you can rummage in. Car boots are just amazing for, you know, costume jewellery. And, you know, whereas you may not wear this, you would maybe put it on a, a journal um, and decorate things. I mean, not even, it doesn't even have to be a journal. These could be on gift boxes or whatever. So have a look out at your um you know your car boots because there are some gems to be had you know quite inexpensively so i just thought i'd share this little um you know sort of tip to you um and and for me you know i've always sort of gone to the car boots and the charity shops and now i'm looking for different things i'm looking for old lace i'm looking for you know vintage things um you know this isn't vintage but it looks vintage you know, that would be amazing on the front of a journal. So now I'm looking for different things when I go um, to the car boot. So came home with a lot of goodies and I'll be sharing these videos with you. So um, I'm off to um, have my tea now. Um, so I'm probably done with crafting for today. Um, I'm not sure if this will get uploaded today or tomorrow, but either way, I shall see you all very, very soon. And I'm enjoying being back and lovely to, you know, see you all. Hope, um, you know, to hear from you all and my love to everybody that has kept in touch and um, everyone who subscribes to me, to my channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you all very soon. Take care for now. Bye, my lovelies.